Alrighty guys, so this is gonna be another video just really quickly. I've had a few people ask me in the past couple of weeks on how to actually put in save data. I didn't really know anything about this, but I will be covering a quick tutorial and walkthrough on how to uh, one, find your save data, and two, um, maybe find a website that has current save data. I don't provide save data. Um, I just don't believe in that just because, you know, the game for me was was really fantastic and fun and i believe that um to get the full experience you should actually progress through and that's why i do provide the walkthroughs that i do um however you are more than welcome to do this i know a lot of people do it just for the money other people do it just for the scenes and such for whatever reason um you are in, entirely entitled to doing so um, however, I will be showing you educationally how to do this if you guys are having any problems. This will be for the PC version only. Um, I really know nothing about the Android versions. However, I can point you in the right direction. I know there are a few YouTubers out there that do cover the Android uh, versions for the game saves and just in general. Um, if you guys have any other questions for that as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. All right, so as you can see, I've got the game pulled up right here. And I just want to kind of go through. I have a lot of saves, and that's really just because, you know, for my editing purposes. Um, I like to save, go back, and then have certain save things here. <clears throat> um, for this, I just want to show you guys file two. This is my second um, save data here. And this is where I'm at in the game. Um, you know, the hearts wise and all that good stuff, inventory. Uh, you can see my money here um, before we even got started. So that way you could see that there's an actual change here when we do put in the save data. Um, so I'm just going to quickly close out of the game here. Um, the game's going to automatically be there anyways. However, to find your save data, you're going to go ahead and open your file explorer. I'm currently on Windows 10 and you're going to want to go into your uh your path where you have your windows installed it's always going to be the c drive um or if you have multiple um maybe ssds or hard drives it might be on a different drive like letter number if you chose that when you built your pc if you are gaming on maybe a, a computer that you bought from um like a store it's most likely going to be the c drive unless you entitle it otherwise. Okay, so however um, that that is, we're gonna go ahead and come to the view menu up here in File Explorer. And what you're gonna wanna do is click this little box where it says hidden items. And that's gonna show you some folders that weren't there before. I don't know if you can see this, but they're actually a little bit um, grayed out. And the, the one folder that you wanna use here is gonna be um, first you want to go to users and then you're going to go into your name or your profile that you're currently on. Um, I'm assuming you're going to be administrator. So go ahead, use that one. And then you're going to want to go into app data. Um, if you don't have this box checked, then you're not going to see that, uh, folder. As you can see, I unchecked it. It disappeared. If I check it, it's there again. So go ahead and open, um, your app data folder. And then you're going to want to go into local and then all the way down or wherever it is on your file explorer you're going to want to find user data right here in user data this is where you can find all the game saves as you can see this is default starting at one going all the way down to default file i guess 41 for for me and that's because I have 41 saves. Yours might be a little bit different. You might only have one. You might have maybe 10 or more. Um, but as I showed you guys before, there was quite a few on my profile. And just really quickly, um, I'm going to be using this as um, just a, a base template. Uh, this website here, as you can see, um, it's called IZ Files. I can actually include this in the description if you guys would like 
um, but it has the game saves starting off from the very beginning. Um, like if you were to start a new game, all the way to version 58, um, 111. So for this purpose, let's just go ahead and download um, this here, 30042. And I like this website um, because it it doesn't have you like go through um, like an ad or some kind of clickbait where it gives you like malware or, or some kind of software by accident. And it's gonna like it's not gonna barrage you with ads or anything like that, which is really annoying. When you go ahead and click download, it immediately downloads and it's fantastic. As you can see, it's already downloaded here. So I'm gonna go ahead and window out here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and for my purposes, drag it right into my my desktop here, just so that I know it's there um, for ease of access. Then when I go back down here, what I would like to do is, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and, because I wanna keep my save data, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste this, this save file to my desktop. You can make a folder if you wish. Um, and then drag it in there. I'm just gonna name this folder save data two. And then you can see that I have this in here. Um, you don't have to do that if you plan on just using the save data for what it's worth. Um, but I always like to have backups, especially for the videos that I use. If something were to go wrong, I have something to go back to. Um, however, just go ahead and open that zip file just gonna exit out of that, that was an ad. Um, and you can see here, the only thing that we really need is this right here. It says default file four, and I'm gonna go ahead and move that outside of the extraction folder here onto the desktop. And what I can do is, um, actually, since this is for default file four, what I'm gonna wanna do is for my purpose is to actually uh, copy the default file for here. I'm just going to paste it in here. And so that way I can go back to it. I thought it was going to be default file three. Apparently it's four. Um, so for this purpose, all you have to do is copy this, or you could simply just drag it in. I'm copying it and then right click inside the uh, box here, the file explorer, and then paste it. It's going to ask if you want to um, replace this destination because it already exists. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, replace the file destination. Now, as you can see, it uh, replaces default file four. And so now what you're going to want to do is simply just go ahead into the game, load back in. And what's going to happen is your default file save is now going to represent that of what we had just changed. So your file or this file for now, uh, it says it's 53% 41, um, but it's gonna be this person's save wherever it was left off. So apparently at this time they had $455. They have less hearts than I did at the time, I believe on my first file save. Um, but that's just because we're going back in time um, in the representation for the save file. So maybe if you wanted to, um, you know, boost your money, you could find a save file that had a lot of money. If you wanted to replay some of the older ancient temples, you could do that as well. Um, the fishing, although I don't know too many people that would want to do that, you could do that as well for whatever reason. Um, I know there are some out there that have just a ridiculous amount of money, like $8 million or so. Um, and you could just simply go down to Squalmart um, and just buy everything. Or um, it could already be um, bought. So it, it saves you a lot of time by doing that um, in that sense. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, um, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a ton. And then it also gets my videos sent directly to you whenever I release them. Um, I'm really big on walkthroughs and tutorials on how this game runs. If you guys have any questions, I'm pretty good about responding almost immediately. And then there is quite a bit of a following now 
um, that I release every two weeks, a lot of the fan base will come and also help out other other people that are struggling as well. So if you guys are looking for that um, that help and that support group, it's definitely here and uh, we're more than happy to help out wherever we can. So with that note, thank you so much guys for watching. And if you guys have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again.